Okay, hey guys, I am here with the amazing John ZD. How are you? I'm very good, thank you very good, much. Good, good. How are you finding Move It? Um, I've only just arrived. Um, I got off a flight from New York yesterday. Wow. So um, I'm still a bit in the zone, actually. <laughs> Why are you in New York? Um, I've been working with the Apollo Theatre because um, we're bringing breaking convention there. Amazing. <laughs> that would be so good. Yeah. Do they love it over there as well? Um, I hope so. I mean, they're really enthusiastic about it. Um, Apollo Theatre, I mean, it's a stone's throw from the origins of hip hop culture. So, you know, that's the best place I could ever choose to do breaking convention. So how did you first start out dancing? Um, I started dancing to the rhythm of my mother's heartbeat while in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful, I love that. <laughs> and I've never stopped since then, basically. Um, as soon as I crawled out, there was a lot of music around the house. I was the last of six kids. My dad listened to a lot of Calypso music and danced to that, so did my mum. Um, dance isn't something that you, for me, it wasn't something that I decided to do. It was decided for me. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> and uh, have you ever done anything other than street? Um, I, 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 I danced a lot of hip hop dance styles, um, but I was really influenced by fame, the musical, um, and Leroy in particular. Um, but you know, all of that kind of environment of an institution to do dance. And one of the things that that I remember about Leroy is that he was always les enfants terribles and he was always doing it the wrong way actually his way so I always felt that the institutions of dance maybe they weren't going to be able to encapsulate everything that I wanted from dance you know what I mean yeah. um, I remember uh, my first dance school I went to um, someone saying that they weren't going to teach us anything about street dance because that wasn't the career that we were going to go into and she was right at the time there wasn't any street dance on stage and the nearest that we'd get to it was like mat to jazz mm -hmm. and stuff like that so for me um, I, I struggled with that because I really loved hip-hop I loved breaking I love popping locking and stuff so for me um, I wanted to change that so that's the one of the reasons why I've been so committed to the development of street dancing in the theatre and, and I'd like um, institutions to be able to bring in hip hop teachers and stuff but you know real hip hop teachers not ones that have got their via um, ballet you know what I mean but people that have committed to that for the whole of their lives they should be part of a lot of these dance curriculums at the moment cool. and you say you're committed to hip hop it seems like you're sort of taking over the world like you have a mission <laughs> so what is your dance mission for the world then? My dance mission is let's push contemporary dance yes. but contemporary as in the true meaning of the dictionary term dance of today there's so many exciting dance forms popping off around the world today and i'm, I'm trying to push them And um, so is there a little signature move that you could teach me that will blow everyone away when I whack it out in the club or whatever? Um, if you whack it out in the club. If I whack it out in the club. <laughs> um, um, all I can do is not teach you, but I can vibe with you. Oh, gosh. Give me a rhythm. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Yeah. That's what I can teach you, just to dance with me, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I'm liking this. She, she's got it. Please Casual. get this, guys. Get mm. this, get this, yeah. get this. Oh. Oh. She, she needs no teaching. Oh. She's got it Thanks. all already. Yeah. She doesn't need anything from me. Oh, I hear all, that all the time. Need, all we need from you is for you to choreograph a dope hip hop piece and come <laughs> and perform a break. Uh, yeah, it might be a couple of years before that happens, but. <laughs> we'll be there. Okay, awesome. I'll let you know. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to me. Pleasure, it's been great. Abby. Thank you. Take care.